It's a whole new world we live in. It's a whole new way to see. It's a whole new place with a brand new attitude. But you still got to catch them all and be best you can be. Pokemon Johto. I honestly saw this coming from like a mile away. I'm just yeah. sad. Best intro. 10 out of 10. Best intro. 10 out of 10. Best intro. What's up, guys? It's Pokemon Crystal. Crystal. Oh. That doesn't run off the side of your tongue like it like blue does. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, because blue was just simply one. Now you have to you have two. It's like, it's like this isn't as good as the first opening. <laughs> It would have been fine if it was Pokemon Gold because it would have been like Pokemon Gold, but yeah, actually that would have been the natural yeah. transition. Gold, gold, Am I a boy gold. Or a girl? guys, gender trans, gender. Uh, oh yeah, that was a thing reality. in this version. Yeah, that's I why I'm going back this. and forth. <laughs> the first game girl, that, just to be a different. Right, the the first game to uh, introduce genders. Zz. Yes. <laughs> Oh, first game to introduce time. This game literally smacks you with, hey, this is a different Pokemon game. It's a trend-setting game. Right. Every game from this moment is going to use time. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Looks at Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Uh, totally. Hey, man, they had a day. Well. They had a clock, but it was always daytime. Oh, what the fuck? Does the sun never go down? No, nope. I'm not going to get into too not much. Not in universe. Usually Cause this is weird. I haven't looked at. It's weird because this is actually the generation I started playing the series at. Oh uh, yeah. I uh. uh the, yeah, the this first, is a lot of people start. This is the first game I got. I, I got a Game Boy Color for Christmas, mm. and the first game I got with it was Pokemon Silver. And, nice. Uh, that then I went back and retroactively played Red, uh, Red and Yellow. I think I went back and replayed. Ah. Uh. Uh, so this game is, is probably the this generation means a lot to me gaming wise because of its importance. I would still, you say it, would you say uh, uh, Terrell that this was the first Game Boy Color game you ever played? Yes, it was because I got my Game Boy Color the same day I got the game. Nice, okay. And that that kind of falls into what we were talking about during KG stream yesterday was our first impressions on uh, Pokemon and the Game Boy when it came out. So you you played red, blue, and yellow just to like as a reminiscence type of situation. Yeah, because I was I love Pokemon so much. I felt like I didn't want to miss out on another on an adventure I never got to play. And right. because Game Boy Color was backwards compatible, all I needed was the cartridge. It's a TV. You know we're doing. The only game. The only yeah, game we're just pointing out the obvious now at this point. I, I'm about to say we have. Listen, you got four people in here, and you think we can't do normal commentary? It's a television. It's, it's a TV. Radio. No, I just nope, thought it was funny. That the, I just thought it was funny that when you click on TV, it says it's a TV. I forgot. Was this not the generation that had the whole thing where you had the console in front of the, ta- the TV? No. Oh, uh, that was in the red blue. Gen three. But then Gen three start that. No, oh. Gen one. No, Gen one did have an SC, uh, SNES. So where is it? Oh, in right by the TV. It's the uh, 64, I think. Maybe they, for, I guess maybe they forgot it. They probably forgot. No, if you actually, I think it's a Nintendo 64. It should be. No, no there's not a Nintendo 64. No, I could have sworn there was like something next to the TV on the top. If we go back to the room, we the might radio. see it. The mm. radio. The radio is. It is may what's not on. have been because I honestly don't remember there ever being any game console. Yeah, it, it, it was the radio. What uh, as proof when I click at the music changes, so which Gen- this is the only game. This is the only game where when you click on the radio, it actually changes the music in the room that you're in. Yeah, because they didn't. They never changed. They didn't change that for remakes. It went back to being like a normal game in that sense. Yeah. But uh. And- also, um, what was I going to say? Also, this is the only game to this day where your mom actually does the job of saving your money. No other game does it. Saving money. Yeah, sure. Yeah, but it, it, it was kind of a cool concept. Hey, like, hey, hey. You leave her alone. She has to save all your money you never visit. If she wants to buy a couple of useless ass shit, <laughs> with your money on occasions. Letter. 
Yeah, I found it kind of interesting that Gen 2 has a bunch of mechanics that never have been used again. Because Gen 2 was the best. Fight me on the street. Oh, God. <laughs> like I was saying, it was the best, but it was a very interesting no, John and I, John and I actually had a big fight about that because I was like, oh, my God, I'm so happy that Gold and Silver is back. I love this game. John plays Gold and Silver and goes, Gold and Silver is trash. You don't get a... <laughs> You don't get a Firestone till later in the game. Hound Doom is in the Kanto region, Salt. which makes no fucking Salt. sense. Salt. <laughs> and I was like, Genju does have a bunch of stupid shit. Yeah, yeah and then I, I typed in, I was just jokingly typing in John's comments, fight me in the streets, scrub. <laughs> yeah, I can agree about the whole situation regarding the Pokemon and all that. Like, for some reason, Mareep is not in this version. Yeah, that, that's like the biggest that, pet peeve I have with this version of the game. Yeah, they they really encourage you to buy gold and silver, and it was like once Crystal came mm -hmm. out, what was the point in buying gold and silver? <laughs> yep. Yeah, I don't know if you guys you guys are probably well you guys are smart, but for those watching, wow. um, once you click on that are computer, you your audience dumb is that what you just did? No, are I'm calling my audience. No, I'm calling my audience millennials that didn't get Yikes. the chance that didn't get the chance to play these old treasures. Okay, that so computer, have... that computer back there heals your Pokemon. To be fair, that's a weird. That was a weird concept to begin with. Because can't your mom do the same thing? No, your mom. That's the downside of your mom in this game. She can't heal your Pokemon. What she can do is save your money. <laughs> But see, Pokemon, the Johto region's mom so, cared about your finances. So basically, she's my financial advisor. Yeah, pretty much. The other, <laughs> the right. other moms were, the other Wish moms were your like nurse. Shit. Yeah, all yeah. Your, your moms were your nurse. She's your financial advisor. You know the one thing that always confused me. What? Why what? is it that we always dealt with the mom in, in all the games and not the father? Like, why why can't we have a single father? I mean, Ruby, like, Sapphire, Emerald. No, yeah, no. and Emerald, and well, Emerald, really? and Emerald, your gym, your dad, the gym leader, but yeah, he I mean, doesn't yeah, visit the house ever. So like, it's you might as well just say you have. It's just. Oh, your I forgot. Never mind. I got Chikorita, by the way. Why? Chikorita, Chikorita, Chikorita is my favorite. I'm sorry. I'm gonna. Oh, so okay, that mod needs some love. Uh, Already making mistakes. Uh, Jot it down, folks. Mm. Okay, so but it know. needs love. Side note: I do want to mention something about the Gen 2 starters because I feel like these are the ones that are the least uh, respected. Like, they don't I, really get any love. Really? I like... Any, I mean, they don't get a lot of love in the fandom. Like, oh. Gen, 2, Gen 2 starters, like Typhlosion, Feraligator, and Meganium kind of just get shitted they on. Bar they barely get even talked about. I think, it's because, I think it's because because they don't have a lot going for them. I mean, um, I think they it's most of the... Illusions, the fuck? Yeah, I was it's like because they're monotype, so they don't have nothing really like secondary going for them. And Gen 3, all of the uh, starters are a dual type except for Sceptile, but Sceptile made up for it by his use of like other moves. Gen okay. 4, you got like steel and water, ground and grass, and fighting and fire again. I still hate and then, again. Again. And then in Gen, what, Gen 5, you have like a samurai water Pokemon, which was kind of lame. And um bullshit, I, I like Samurai. I, I yeah, do Samurai but pretty, Samurai's pretty cool. I I like him. I don't like what the treatment they gave him. His stats are god awful. Like well, I don't know how in the hell you'll be able to fight with him effectively. Yeah. yeah Gen five starters were kinda weird because Inboard was like to me at that point a lazy ass Trash. Yeah, just a lazy fucking Oh, Pokemon can move in this game in this game. First game to do it. Oh yeah, the first animations and shit. Yep. Mm -hmm. First game to do it, and then they stopped doing it in Ruby and Sapphire for some reason. Yeah, I don't <laughs> understand. Maybe because the models got more complex. No, because in Emerald they did it right back again, as if nothing happened. Listen, it was a, listen. We're working on it, all right? Gen three steps backwards. Well, kind of. And except for since it's in Emerald, yeah, but like, since it's in Emerald, it technically is not like they're stepping backwards. Yeah. Considering Gen three was such an overhaul. Ter Terrell. And in Emerald version, they didn't fix the the time situation. It's listen, still daytime all the time. Listen, listen, <laughs> shut up. 
right? <laughs> I can't, we can't have all these nice things, you piece of shit, all right? No, no, I just imagine, remember the Dragon Ball Z? piece of shit. Remember the Dragon Ball Z bridge where, like, Vegeta's looking up at the sky, he goes, oh, it's nighttime on a planet with two suns. And I just imagine Emerald and Brendan looking up at the sky on a planet with two suns. <sighs> <laughs> but yeah, going back to what I was saying is I just I don't feel like they really give the Gen 2 star as much love and attention in like I agree in media. Like, oh, I like, totally agree. Absolutely. Because they oh look all the Gen 3 starters getting mega evolution. Gen 4 get representation in Pokemon. Fucking uh Gen 5. Well Gen 5 is kinda in the same boat, but Gen 5 is still newer, so it's a little bit more excusable. Gen mm-hmm. 6 arguably has the best overall designs of starters. And with, then, with the exception of Del Fox. It, it, I disagree. I like where I like the direction. I think Braxton is more visually appealing. That's the problem. Yeah, Braxton is the better of the... Yeah, you know, I agree. Braxton looks better than Del Fox, but Del Fox, I would not say looks bad. I think the anime really helps Del Fox out. 3D model sucks ass. 2D art yeah, of bad, bad ass. Art of 2D is the best, ass. baby. But Greninja like got all this representation, not just in Pokemon, but in uh, Smash. So, yeah, he got some at love. The, at, least the, at least with Greninja, they're not doing the same thing with it like they're doing Charizard. Where they just shove it down our throats. Yeah. And I, like Char- and I love Charizard, too. This is coming from a, a no, Charizard fan itself. Fan he's he's ruined. Yeah. Don't alive. mention Charizard in front in front of Terrell. Oh god! Oh god! I mean, Is that rule cool now? <laughs> we t- no, we talked about him in our Mega Evolution uh, uh, discussion, and he he had justifiable rage, but it was rage nonetheless. Yeah. Wait, when, I, wait, I, when I, was that special? A oh, while ago. We did a while back, way back oh, in during, oh, I, oh, I think before I Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire came out. Oh, well, I guess that's one thing I will say. That the only love I would say that Gen Two respectively got was Bailey in in the anime. That was about it. Cinderella and that's was... one of the reasons I love Tikarita actually is because of her in the anime. Yeah, if Ash okay, had a Typhlosion in that yeah. series, I can guarantee you Typhlosion would be everywhere. Yeah, but that we didn't get that. We didn't get a Kolava until Gen 4. Which is weird. Like, why? Yeah. They did that again with uh, who evolved in one of the later tournaments. I'm trying to think. Fanfi. Fanfi. Yeah, that's what it was. Fanfy. Yeah, Fanfi. He got Fanfi in Gen 2 and it didn't evolve into like Gen 3, late Gen 3 Battle Frontier. Yeah, yeah, that was just a weird thing. I guess because they figured, hey, he has the Pokemon, we might as well evolve it. So that means in like 2000 and 2022, uh, Gibble will evolve into Gabite. Yeah, he actually should have already evolved in Gen, in X Gen 7, I right. I keep oh, and I keep forgetting we're already eight generations in. Well, it's seven generations, and we're heading towards eight. Okay, that's what it is. Well, yeah, I guess that's the argument. And I still, I want to have that discussion. I'm not going to do it now because I don't feel like we have enough time to really get into it. Right. I want to have that discussion about do we really need to keep adding new Pokemon for every new game? Like, can we Can we do have more? a generation that focuses on the Pokemon that already exist and just add more enhancements? Yeah. I, I'm hmm. down with that. I like that idea. Yeah, I'm down with it, too. Yeah, I like that. I feel that. like we have, where are we at right now? 800 and something or 9? 800, almost like 802. Okay, that's where we're at. We're at like 802. Yeah, because the last two generations haven't added as much. Yeah. Um, we're at 802, and it feels like uh, we don't really, we shouldn't be at the point where we still need to add Pokemon to make a game interesting. Yeah. I understand that half of the fun for a lot of people with Pokemon is catching new creatures, and I guess the, the risk would be to making it more of an RPG means that it's more focused on the story and plot and characters than it is the Pokemon. Right. And I guess, but uh, what are uh, Richie and uh, Tyrone and your guys' history with Gen 2? Because I already mentioned mine. This is my first generation of playing the game. Uh, I get, Richie, you want to go ahead? Since I think you said you didn't really play Gen 1 a lot, you played Gen 2. Yeah, Gen 2 was when it started. I mean, I didn't have too much experience. It was just all about trying to figure out uh, Pokemon. So it was basically what you said the other day, where, you know, oh, you're stuck in Viridian Forest for, like, fucking three hours and, and stuff. But it was kind of fun, I guess, because at the time you had the thinking that, oh, I got to be just like Ash in the anime and just be here forever. So that's what I kind of did as well. 
But then I realized, wait, that's not how you play the game. <laughs> you can just go on. You don't have to be like Ash exactly. <laughs> you but... can just move on. You don't have to be like Ash. <laughs> yeah, don't be like the anime. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me laugh for some reason. Yo, yeah, you don't have I know, like... I know the reason because it's a sad reality that <laughs> no, you don't have <laughs> to be like Ash. You can move on. Yeah, it literally is. It's, it's a sad reality that Ash can't move on because Game Freak won't let him move on. Feels fucking bad, man. Uh, KG, what was your experience with Gold, Silver, and Crystal? I think it was like a year or so later after I bought Yellow, uh. and. I remember getting that game via a birthday gift because I never kept up with the uh, release dates for Pokemon at that time because, well, so no young. Idea. And no so idea. my parents just one day, I don't know why, she was just like, hey, I'm just in a good mood today. And I found this over here at Toys R Us. And she just came back home with a copy of Pokemon Crystal. And I was like, huh? So, I was surprised by this because I was like, oh, I didn't realize that there was a new game already out for Pokemon. So, I played it and, uh, yeah, that was my first experience with the title. Just random sheer luck. I'm pretty confident if she never brought that title, uh, that game here home, I would have never known that there would have already been a second generation. I would have probably still been playing the first gen at that time. Right. Uh, but, yeah, that, that's pretty much my first encounter with that game. Just random day, she got happy. I was like, hey, here you go. And I'm like, I okay. Remember, I remember, um, yeah, because that, that was the only, the only possible way you could know about a game was if the commercial came on television. That's the only way you could know. Internet wasn't really, like, developed enough to the point where you could, you know, look it, it up. Was either, it was or, either TV. It was either TV or magazines. It was either TV or magazine or if you go to, like, Toys R Us or you know, like, you, know what the, you know what the kicker with that was? What? Because uh, I, I was so in I was so in love with Gen 2 and Gen 1 that when I pre-ordered uh, Ruby and Sapphire, if you went to, I think it was Best Buy Circuit City, they gave you, like, this coin. Oh, yeah, I forgot Circuit City existed. Yeah. They, I think they had commercials for that, actually, too. They, they gave you, like, a coin that had either Groudon or Kyogre in the damn coin. And I remember it was the worst feeling in the world because that was before. They, they put out pre-orders before the game had a release date. So, uh -huh. I'm sitting, so I sat there, got the coin and the pre-order stuff, and I couldn't. And because I didn't know when the game came out, I kept going back to Circuit City, going <laughs> <laughs> going into the game yet? section. Is it out yet? Yeah, literally. Is it out yet? Anytime I would be over, like, is it out yet? Is it out yet? Even when sir, the game was... sir, you asked me twice in the same day. What is it out yet? I still remember because Gen 3 came out in 2003. Right. 2003, so I was 12 years old. And my mom was like, I'm not taking you to Circuit City again. Mom, the game might be out. Like, no, <laughs> it's, it's not. Was like it what, what was it was it these coins by the way? Uh, let's see. Yes. 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 I still I still have that coin actually. Terrell, Ooh. it's obvious what you needed to do. You needed to sleep at Circuit City. <laughs> needed to just camp at Circuit. <laughs> I live here now. That was <laughs> before. That was out. before. That was that would have been before it became cool. By the way. Right. So, yeah. Right. So well, listen, I was, yeah. I was under. I was under age. Okay, yeah, guys. Uh, epic Pokemon battle right here. No, no Pokemon battle is sure. Game. We were still, we were still working on them fucking icons. Yeah. Those, uh, those, uh, those icon representations of the Pokemon. Literally, <laughs> they're blocking the road for a Pokemon battle, which I still think is the coolest way though, to block a road. Though it just shows that there's more activity going on outside of you battling Pokemon. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, but how how long? What was the time gap between Gen One and Gen Two? Uh. uh Four years. Okay. Cause I, no, I, five I years. Think. Five years. I'm sorry. It's five years because okay. 1996 to 2001. Was it? Was it that long? No. Crystal came out in 2001. Gold and Silver came out in 2000. So, it, yeah, four years. Four to five years. That's still crazy to me, especially considering... It felt like a year. <laughs> yeah, it really did. Well, that's For the second thing. it felt like a year because 1998 to 2000, yeah. Well, the, the quality jump in this game from the first one is staggering. Just in the way everything looks. Because of all the money they made from the first one. Mm -hmm. And also, don't forget about the help from Iwata, too, who managed to help make the next region we'll be visiting a uh, thing, you know? 
Right. Yeah. Wait a minute, wasn't it just two years in the United States and then three or four seven years in Japan? You know what, fuck it, I'm, I'm googling it. <laughs> right. That's what I'm uh, In Japan, it came out in 1999. Yeah. In North America, it came out in 2000. I was. I think. I'm, I'm talking about that. more of the gap, though, not just the. Yeah, state like. State well, well, yeah, because yeah, at that at that time, importing stuff wasn't as fast. So yeah, Japan had it long before us. It was like a year, wasn't that? Like a well, year. like a yeah. Uh, yeah. I think like the demand was so high. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay, so for Japan, they got the titles in 1996, and for North America, it was 1998. Yeah, two years. And Europe, 1999. Holy shit. So yeah, the gap wasn't as long for us in the states. Yeah, it was like two years. Which... Except uh, I'm sure in Europe. So wait, the year before Japan got the sequel, we got the first game. Pretty much. Pretty much. Ten out of ten. <laughs> ten out of ten. Best company. Yes, I, I want to say game. like yeah, my because the only way you could possibly know about uh. Gold and Silver's release was watching commercials like, hey kids, spit out your fucking cereal because Gold and Silver is out. Go to the stores and get it now. And I'm like, wow. You, you got less than a minute to tell the story. Hurry up. That's it. That was the story. Or a few seconds, spit rather. Out. So now we just got 20 seconds of silence. Uh... Oh, yeah, we're yeah. doing that. No, Professor not, Elms... again. not again. Yeah, yeah, Professor Elm's about... getting robbed. Yeah, I was going to talk about what we think about the new professor in this generation, but I guess... No, we have enough time. He's kind of pointless. There you go. He's kind of pointless. I like his nerdiness. I like the nerd, the more yeah. nerdy professor. Yeah, I like the nerdiness. It's just there's not really much to add to it. So, All right, there you guys. go. See ya.